everyone, it's Lindsay from Organize to Save. Today I thought I'd bring you through our dining room, show you a couple of DIY tricks that we've got, and how we've organized a little coffee bar over there. So come along and see what we've got in store for you today. So we'll go ahead and just start off with kind of explaining where things are at. Um, right now, our dining room is when you walk in the front of our house, there's our front door. It is right off the front door. So I wanted this to be a really welcoming space, uh, really show off our, you know, kind of our design style for our home. And we love entertaining people. So I really wanted to be able to have a big dining room table for everybody to come over. The chandelier was one of the first projects that we did when we moved into our home. Uh, this used to have those lovely little cream lampshades on them and so what we actually did was we just took those off and then I found a package of the ball mason jars they're the larger ones I'll put a link down below we just took the lids here and glued these onto the chandelier that we've got and then just screwed in the glass jars up top so it gave us a really cheap um, alternative than buying a brand new light because that was not in our budget um, but it turned out really fun it gives us a nice little kind of farmhouse feel to it with the mason jars and I have the mason jars kind of echoed throughout the room I would encourage you to look at you know for example for us we had this light we didn't have budget to re get a brand new one so I tried to think well how can we repurpose what we already have and that's what I came up with doing the mason jars on top of there and it just gives it a fun little feel uh, we also painted this room it was I'll kind of do a, a shot here so you can see the before um, but we painted this room it was just a really dingy color painted the bottom part a nice crisp white and then the top uh, that a gray color just really cleaned up the room it was such a difference when we painted it just night and day uh, this little coffee bar is one of my favorite spots in our house I am obsessed with coffee this little uh, coffee bar here I actually found free on the side of the road it was not painted or anything uh, my husband and I actually painted this out I believe we actually just use uh, spray paint on the outside we did this one several years ago uh, but it's just a fun little project that we did and it allows us a lot more uh, space and it gives us the fun little coffee bar accent as you all right I'll go ahead and walk you through our coffee bar and kind of share how we have this all organized as you can see on the very top here I have kind of all the essential things that you would need uh, when you're making coffee so obviously I have our coffee right here and again using one of the ball jars just to kind of echo some of the other design elements that we have in this room um, and then behind it I've got one of those little latte tasters if you want something extra special but we have just our regular coffee maker which actually we use the majority of the time here I've got some coffee stirs and then a little sugar jar if anybody wants to add sugar to their coffee but again utilizing things that we already owned um, this cake plate was something that I got gifted to me a few years ago from but I didn't want to have that hidden away in the cupboard so I pulled it out threw the little sugar and straws on top and it made a fun little vignette for the little coffee bar down below I have all of my cloth napkins and they're all folded here and filed really easy to find which ones I'm looking for we use these primarily when we have like uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas um, or just occasionally when we're having a different dinner party and I want to do something a little extra special and then to the right is all of our placemats and different table runners I've got some seasonal ones under there just keep some easy to get to but these baskets I believe were from uh, Target just really cute simple design fits in this open spot perfectly this when we got this piece this actually used to be a drawer but the drawer was all broken so I was like well let's just take it out paint out the inside so we just paint it out and just put these baskets in so just kind of repurpose what we already had in the right cupboard here I just have some uh, coffee mugs down on the bottom I have a couple other just 
um, seasonal decor things or a couple other cake plates that I didn't have enough space for. And in this cabinet over here, we have all of our uh, drinkware. So all of our extra glasses. We rarely use these. Uh, we would just use them more for special occasions. And in this top drawer, we have all of our coffee essentials. So we've got some sugar packets, uh, some hot chocolate, extra coffee, and then our coffee filters and some cinnamon. Uh, another great thing with this is that I used these baskets. These were just from Walmart, uh, relatively inexpensive. It just helps you keep like things together. So that way they're not just gonna all slide around in here when the drawer opens and shuts. Everything stays in its place and it's just a lot easier to find what you're looking for. Down here we have um, some more kind of seasonal things. We've got some napkin rings, uh, salt and pepper shakers, some little name placeholders for Thanksgiving and then all of our like koozie. This was another DIY project that I did. I uh, made these little plate ledges. This is super easy. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make these, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to put one together for you. But we literally just took some scrap pieces of wood that we had lying around, screwed them all together, stained them out, hung them up, and bam, for no money at all, we got brand new plate ledges for our lovely dining room. These shelves over here, uh, we had these, we put these in when we first moved into our home, but they were actually over here on this wall where that gather sign is. Um, so when we kind of revamped this entire room, I moved them over here and then put the plate ledges to the left of it just to kind of balance out the room. I think if we only had, you know, the shelves on the right side and nothing over here on the left, I think it just would, would have looked really unbalanced. Uh, but these shelves on the right hand side here are really fun. We, we just used some galvanized pipe to make the supports for these shelves. The pieces of wood we actually found in our garage when we moved in, so that was free. So really the only thing that we paid for to make these shelves was the pipes, which is relatively cheap, and then just a can of stain. Just a fun little spot to show off some things um, but if you notice most of these items are actually items that we use I took some of those beverage canisters that we have up there um, we don't use those all the time but when we have parties and things we like to pull those down but I didn't want to store them in the pantry they're so cute so I thought I'd throw them up on the shelf but think about that in your space think what can you repurpose from what you already have so I knew I had like you'll see all of my white serving platters and things I had all of those already so I wanted to repurpose them and put them out so that they could be displayed but they're easy to get to when we need to use them so when you're going through your home just kind of think what can you repurpose as decoration in your space well, thanks for watching today. I hope that you got a couple ideas out of there. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a tutorial on how I built either the plate rack or the shelves behind me or even this piece of artwork over here. So thanks again for watching. Hope you got a couple ideas on how to bring it into your own space and we'll catch you guys next time.